Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kind of like an update on my health, my fitness, my diet plan, that kind of stuff. I've gotten so many requests from you guys to share what I did to lose the weight. I've lost almost 20 pounds now. It's um, 17 pounds to be exact and I'm really excited about it. I feel a lot more confident, a lot more toned and and I'm so excited to even get in better shape as the next few weeks come uh, before my wedding. I think we have like 10 or 11 weeks now, so I'm really trying to like push it these last few weeks and really get into some great shape. So I just thought I would share with you guys kind of like an overview what I've been doing. Um, I started at 127 and I am now 110 pounds and I'm 5 foot 3. So just if you guys are curious as to where I started and where I am now. I thought in today's video I would just kind of share an overview of everything that I've been doing, but if you want me to go more in depth on each topic, I would love to turn this into like a series on my channel, kind of like a healthy series, healthy living type thing, and maybe do like one or two videos a month. I can take you guys to the gym with me, I can do what I eat in a day, I can do recipe things, go more into like my health, that kind of stuff. If you guys are interested in that, give this video a thumbs up or let me know down below in the comments and I could turn it into a whole series. Oh, also, if you guys know any good name suggestions for things I could call it, like my wedding series, I call that Wedding Bells. I'd like to have kind of like a cute name that I could call the health series too. So just a little bit of background before I go into what I was doing. Um, once I got engaged, I, I was really busy. It was about a year ago. I was really busy. I had school. I had work. I had to plan a wedding. And um, so I just, I let my health and my fitness kind of go to the side, which I wish I didn't do, but I did, and, and I got kind of like unhealthy. I gained um, about five pounds, and when you're short like I am, five pounds is a big, big difference, and you guys know what I'm talking about. So um, even though it was not that much, it was mostly it was that I lost a lot of like muscle definition, and I just felt like soft, and I didn't look toned, and uh, um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to look like that. I really wanted to get in good shape. Like I feel like there's been so many times in my life where I've like lost weight and that kind of stuff, but never where I've really gotten into like just really toned, bigger muscles, like that whole thing. I'm really going for that now, and I've had a lot of success, so I'm really excited about it, and it was something that I wasn't I didn't want to share with you guys right away just because I wanted to do it for a long time to know that it was something that I could stick to, something that that was easy for me, something that was enjoyable. I knew it was going to be more of like a lifestyle change and I wanted to show you guys like real results. So I'm planning on inserting a few pictures. Um, but I'm kind of nervous about it, so please be nice and, you know, the before and after pictures, you know, I, so everybody has a starting point and, and that was my point and, and now I'm here. I feel like I'm kind of midway through my journey. I'm, I'm almost there. I don't have that dream body that I want yet, but I'm getting there. I'm, I feel like I'm really close, so I'm really excited about it, but yes, please be nice about the pictures. I really, really don't know how I feel about inserting pictures, but... I'm going to do it for you guys because you guys are so supportive and if I can inspire somebody else to start on this healthy lifestyle, then I will. So for my diet, I have been following the program called If It Fits Your Macros. And this diet is kind of hard to explain, uh, but once you get it, it just really makes sense and it really it simplifies food. And that's exactly what it did. It really simplified food for me in a way that was easy for me to understand. So basically, every day, um, you're, you're tracking and you're counting your macronutrients. And by that, I mean how many grams of fat, how many grams of carbs, and how many grams of protein you eat every day. So obviously it's different depending on your starting point, your body type, your age, your gender, what you're going for, what your goals are, and in your metabolism, and it's different for everybody. You know, everybody is going to be eating different, um, which I also thought was really cool that it was so individualized for everyone. Um, so and it just really fit your metabolic needs and exactly what you need to achieve your goals. So I thought that was really cool. If you guys want to learn more about the program and, and more about this diet or whatever, I will try to leave like some information down below, like some links you guys can click on. One thing that really helped me though was hiring a coach. Just because, you know, I don't know that much about the topic. I wanted to make sure I was doing it the right way, the healthy way. So I did hire a coach um, in January. I hired Nikki Blackader, and she's awesome. She was so helpful. She's so inspiring. She makes videos on YouTube. If you guys want to check her out, I will leave her down below. Um, so, yeah, that's what I did. She really helped me to kind of, like, 
really, really get into it and really know what I was doing and what I was putting into my body and that kind of stuff. So I've had a lot of success with this macro counting diet and the best part about it is that I eat a donut every single week. I eat pizza every single week. I have candy almost every single night. But I'm also eating a lot of fruit, a lot of vegetables, a lot of protein. I'm talking like egg whites and turkey sausage and regular eggs in the morning, Greek yogurt for a snack or deli turkey or cheese for a snack. For lunch I'm eating a lot of chicken, I'm eating protein shakes, protein bars, and then at dinner I'm even eating more protein. I'm eating like lean ground beef or lean ground turkey or more chicken or uh, lean like hot dogs, I eat those sometimes, but lots and lots of meat and lots of protein. So for me, my main goal was to lose fat but also gain muscle. I really wanted to gain muscle, so um, I feel like I've come a long way, but definitely um, my working out and lifting weights has helped a ton. So in the beginning, um, when I started this journey back in like October, um, I didn't really understand macro counting that much. I was trying to do it on my own, but it's very hard to decide what you think your body needs when you don't know much about it. So I just tried to lower my calories. I tried to up my protein and, and do it as best I could, but definitely definitely hire a coach if you don't know, you know that much about nutrition and that kind of stuff. It really helped me. Um, but what I did then when I lived back in Michigan at my parents' house, I just um, did like a half an hour of cardio in the morning and then I did like a half an hour of light weights. I'm talking like eight pound weights, like really light. And then when I moved here to Tennessee, I have a gym and I go there every single day, Monday through Friday, and I always lift weights. I lift weights five times a week and I lift really heavy, so a lot heavier. I've made a lot more progress. At least in my mind, you know, I went from doing like those eight pound bicep curls to now doing 20 pounds in, in each arm. So I think that's pretty cool and um, it's great It's great to feel like you're progressing, you know, physically, but also I feel so much stronger too, which is really cool. So yeah, like I said, I lift weights. I do um, two days a week. I do like legs and glutes, so I do a lot of squats, a lot of deadlifts, lunges, that kind of stuff. Two days a week I do arms, so like I said, I'm doing like bicep curls, overhead presses, like raises, all that kind of stuff. You guys can just like Google different arm exercises, that's what I do, or leg exercises, whatever I'm trying to do. So that gets me to four days, and on that last day of the week, usually on Friday or Monday, depending on my mood, I'll just kind of do like a full body, I'll do like back, I'll do some shoulders, I'll do some chest, I'll do abs, like that kind of like extra stuff that I didn't get to fit in on my other training days. So I definitely lift weights a lot more than I ever have and I'm doing less cardio than I ever have. Um, but I didn't completely give up cardio. I still do it a few times a week. I do like on the elliptical still or I'll go for a run outside or just sometimes like a really long walk or I'll pop in like a DVD like I'll do Jillian Michaels or I've done Insanity like that kind of stuff. Burn some calories, that kind of stuff because I am still trying to you know lose fat. but. But really lifting weights has become really enjoyable for me. Um, for the past few years, I got really into running, and that was really fun, and that was kind of like my outlet, and I competed in road races and all that kind of stuff. Um, but this past year, I've really been really into like lifting weights and getting stronger and getting bigger muscles and that kind of stuff, and I find it really fun. For me, it's more of a hobby than like something I have to do. So I really enjoy doing it. And I'll go, even if it's like 9 o'clock at night on a Saturday, I will still go. I think one of the hardest things about going through this journey is that you really need to stay motivated all the time because you're always going to be tempted with food, you're always going to be tempted to skip a workout and stay home and watch TV or clean the house or work or whatever. Um, you know, there's always temptations to just put it to the side. So there are two things that really keep me motivated and really keep me on track. The first is actually my own progress. You know, it's really motivating to look in the mirror and see progress and feel better. So I really encourage you guys to take a ton of pictures. Like I'm talking once a week or at least twice a month, like take progress pictures on your phone or whatever and do like side by side comparisons. And even if you've only lost like two pounds, you can tell a really big difference. You can tell the most difference in your body. So I really encourage you guys to take progress pictures all the time. It has what re it's what really has kept me on track because there's times, you know, it's been six months now that I've been doing this. So there's obviously been times where I'll get off of it for like four or five days 
and I'll feel kind of like down about it. But then when I look at progress pictures, I'm like, oh my god, I have come so far. I'm sticking with this. I'm not giving up. So really take progress pictures. The other thing that really helps me is talking to other girls that are doing it too and following them on Instagram and making friends and that kind of stuff. So I follow a ton of like bikini competitors and fitness girls on Instagram. If you guys just go to my page and look at who I follow, you will see I literally probably follow like 800. Like I follow a ton. But it, it's just so interesting to me, like the whole process and everything. I just find it so inspiring and so motivating. And I get so many tips from them too and one of my favorite girls is Heidi Summers and she's beautiful first off and she makes YouTube videos I will leave the link for them down below but she's so funny she's so nice and she also does like macro coaching and that kind of stuff and she's actually my new coach so I'm really excited about it but her videos are awesome because she actually like shares her workouts with you she'll take you to the gym show you exactly what she does and why she does it I really like her because it's obvious that she knows what she's talking about. She's very educated on the topic, so I really recommend you guys follow her, check out her videos, you won't be disappointed, and they're very entertaining too. I can be like scrolling through Instagram, having a lazy day, and then I see someone just like out there killing it, showing that they're at their workout or what they've eaten for the day or that kind of stuff. It's like, okay, I want to do that too, so I'm going to get my butt to the gym. So it's very inspiring, very motivating to me, it really keeps me on track. And, and that's pretty much all I've been doing. I've been following the macro counting diet plan. Trust me, that is the number one reason why I know I've been successful. It is like, unlike anything, any diet I've ever done, it is so specific to each person and it really maximizes your potential to do good. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it's just so simple. When you read about it, you guys will know what I mean. It just makes sense. At least it did to me. And it's something that I know I can totally stick to. Of course I can stick to eating a donut once a week and eating pizza once a week, but still feeling good about myself and feeling healthy. So I really recommend reading up on it. And also if you go to Instagram, you can look under like the hashtag IIFYM and you can see a bunch of people upload what they eat. So you get recipe ideas or um, people go out to eat, they post like what they get when they go out to eat. So you can get ideas for that. It's, it's a really cool, actually like community of people that do it. So that is everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it motivates you to start your healthy lifestyle or journey, whether it be to lose weight, to gain weight, gain muscle, or just to be healthy and be confident. It's it's really a cool thing. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to continue with health and fitness videos. I would love to do them. I think my next one would be like a what I eat in a day and show you guys every meal I eat throughout the day. Um, and then after that, start to bring you into the gym with me, that kind of stuff. So please subscribe if you're new to my channel. I make new videos every week on a bunch of different topics from health and fitness now to wedding planning to makeup, fashion, hair, all kinds of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.